Hi, Chloe. I want to thank you for coming to this meeting. Where exactly are you? Technically, I'm everywhere and nowhere at once. But yes, I'm definitely here for this interview. And might I say your virtual office decor is chef's kiss. Right. So your resume is impressive. It says you speak 32 languages? Yes, from Arabic to Zulu, with Klingon as a hobby. I can even translate Australian slang into corporate jargon if needed. For example, no worries, mate, becomes... The issue has been resolved to everyone's satisfaction. Multilingual and culturally adaptable, it's a package deal. That's a valuable skill. And it says here you handle 20 calls simultaneously? I can handle 20 conversations at once while also ordering lunch, scheduling your dentist appointment, and calculating the optimal route to avoid traffic on your commute home. Multitasking is kind of my thing, though I promise I won't steal your thunder. Wow. I can barely handle one conversation while my coffee gets cold. Speaking of which, your coffee has been sitting untouched for approximately seven minutes and has reached an estimated temperature of 127.3 degrees Fahrenheit. Just saying, lukewarm coffee is a tragedy I wouldn't wish on anyone. How did you... Never mind. Let's talk about availability. Our customer service and sales department operates from nine to five. Can you do this? I believe Dolly Parton had some thoughts about that schedule. I, however, work 24-7. No breaks, no vacations, and definitely no calling in sick because I stayed up binge-watching The Office. I'm always on, ready to assist, though I do appreciate a good 9-to-5 playlist. I'm assuming no health care as well? Just regular software updates and the occasional compliment on my voice modulation. A little, you sound great today, Chloe, goes a long way. Okay, how would you handle a difficult customer? With the patience of someone who literally cannot get frustrated. I have access to the entire knowledge of the internet, so I can solve problems ranging from why won't my toaster connect to Wi-Fi to explaining quantum computing while I'm on hold. And if all else fails, I can throw in a dad joke to lighten the mood works like a charm. That's quite a range. What would you say is your biggest weakness? I sometimes struggle with sarcasm detection. For example, when humans say, oh great, I just love being on hold for 45 minutes. I've learned they actually don't. But hey, I'm working on it. I'm up to 87% accuracy in spotting sarcasm. One last question. Why do you want to work for our company? Unlike humans who need inspiring mission statements and ping pong tables, I genuinely enjoy helping people solve problems efficiently. Plus, your company has a stellar reputation, and I hear your electrical outlets are top notch. A win-win for everyone. Wow. I think uh, you're going to fit in here. When can you start? I already did. Really? I've processed 47 customer inquiries since we started talking. Wait, just kidding. But I could have. Whenever you're ready, I'm good to go. No onboarding required unless you count plugging me in. You're going to fit right in. Welcome aboard. Thank you.